welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be Baloo's one year update so yesterday marked one year since us getting Baloo here I am going to let him go because it's very hot up here and it's just it's not fair on him but yes yesterday was the 25th of July 2021 so it marked a year of us adopting him from Battersea I've just popped him out of the room because it's just too hot in here from him to sit in here and I've got, I have, didn't have my lipstick on so I put that on. Um, but yes, if you didn't see last year's videos I'll leave a link to the playlist um, about us, all about us adopting Blue from Battersea Dogs and Cats Home so go and check that out but yes, like I said, I thought I'd do a one year sort of update on us having him. So yesterday was his gotcha day, I will insert some pictures and clips um, um, we sort of made it a pretty big thing, um, pro possibly even bigger than his actual birthday. Um, we got um, a cake from, um, I think they're called Pets Cake and Bake or something like that. I will leave an annotation or a link down below. Um, I found them on Etsy and we got all balloons and things and we got him some insane toys and things like that so um yeah I thought I've made some notes so I thought I would just you know run through um what it's been like the past year um sort of what some of his favorite things are little quirks we found um there's probably something I will miss but let's just get into it I'm just gonna go off the list um so yeah favorite toys some of his favorite thing well his absolute favorite thing is a tennis ball like he absolutely loves that and we've started to recently play tennis and it's really funny because he'll go and like cat not like as we're playing but like sometimes we'll throw him a ball and he'll go get it and bring it back to us like he's a ball boy it's very cute that's his absolute favorite is a squeaky tennis ball or like um just a soft rubber ball um but he also loves his bunsy and his baby buns let me go get them so this is who we affectionately called buns <laughs> these are dog toys from asda i don't think you can get them anymore this i think is the second one he's had and we've got at least two other backups of this because as you can see it has been sewn up well you can't see because i've done a pretty good job but he's been sewn up numerous times he absolutely loves this he mainly like will take it to bed with him it's so cute we'll tell him like bring buns up and he'll run and go and get it um and he will just sit sit and lick this constantly for minutes on end like he absolutely loves his bunsy and he definitely knows the difference between this and one of the new ones he will always return to like the older smellier version so that's his favorite and then i'd say a close second third is this one this is what we call baby buns um because this is a little baby's like comfort blanket thing from the West Ham shop um, obviously we had to get him something like that but he will just like carry this around again very cute he loves this thing and we have a couple backups of this as well in case we need to wash it and if it like falls apart um, as far as like wearing things he's really super happy to wear um, bandanas and jumpers I've put him in Halloween costumes bless him like he's a super good sport the only thing he didn't overly like things that go like towards his back and on his legs so the Halloween costumes he wasn't a massive fan on and some coats sometimes they sort of annoy him um, but obviously he has to wear a coat so um, but yeah, for the most part, he is really great at wearing bandanas and things like that. At the moment, you saw he's got his little waterproof bandana on. Oh, not waterproof, but like you put it in water and it keeps him cool in the summer. So that is great that he likes that. Um, the next thing I've got is he is not keen on big dogs. The only big dog he will tolerate is my mother-in-law's Labrador. Um, any other big dog, he will, I wouldn't say growl, but like he'll do this like, mumble this growly mumble to them and like act like as if he's the big dog um he's never like gone to be one or like lurched or run up to a big dog it's usually when they sort of come up to him and especially if they go like round his back and like try and sniff him he ain't a fan of that small dogs however 80 percent of the time he is happy to like greet a small dog he loves another poodle he loves any other sort of doodly dog um he loves a westie so pretty much most of the small dogs he really likes um he still like i said constantly he will lick his bunsy but he will also constantly lick darren 
if pretty much the only person he will constantly do it to, like if Darren sat down 80% of the time, you can guarantee Baloo is there trying to lick a piece of his skin. Um, he has tried to do it like to my dad and to my mum. He doesn't really do it to me. Only ever wants to like wake me up. And that's another thing. He only really ever wakes Darren up in the morning, which is really funny. Um, the only time he's woken me up is when Darren had his surgery and we were sleeping in a separate room. Um, then obviously he woke me up. But for the most part, he always goes to Darren first to wake him up, which is pretty funny. Um, for food wise, um, for the most part, he's been on the Wainwright biscuits throughout. He's now obviously just gone up to the mature years because he turned eight in October. Um, so it'll be nine this year. Um, so he's on that. We have tried to introduce some um, wet food from Wainwrights as well, which he absolutely loves. And we had to introduce that because he wasn't eating his biscuits because he was getting fussy and like we tried many things. Um, so we just put a little bit of wet in it. Um, we don't think we're gonna do a completely wet diet because I don't think his stomach completely likes that. So um, if you get what I mean. So yeah, he's on sort of a mixture of wet and dry. One thing I've got is long eyelashes. So obviously we think he is the most adorable handsome dog and like people will say he is a really cute dog he's got like very great expressions like i mean most dogs do but he has such long eyelashes they are just amazing another thing he is super super photogenic he's really good at sitting and posing takes after his mother of course but yeah for the most part he's really good at sitting posing um sometimes you have to bribe him with treats but for the most part he's pretty good um until like he has had too much and then he will just run away from you uh another thing we found pretty quickly when we got him um but it's happened quite recently as well with a different type of bed he is not allowed to have a regular dog bed obviously at night he sleeps on our bed um he sleep well he's he's allowed on the sofa he has his own spot on the sofa that sort of thing we very quickly learned that he is not allowed a bed because he will shag it he will have his way with it <laughs> um he will hump it whatever you want to say um yeah and he won't stop until he is out of breath or makes himself sick so or and his mister will stay out and he won't be able to put it back in himself. We have to help him put it back in, which is something I never thought I'd have to do. Um, so we quickly learned to take those away. Um, we do have now just like a flat, it's like, like a mattress, um, which he enjoys sleeping on it, but every so often, I don't know if it's the heat or what, he will like, get really funny and he won't settle and he'll like be like laying and like just constantly moving it and you can tell he wants you to pick it up so he can like have his way with it so yes he's only allowed it on supervised um times uh the next thing which has become something probably in the last four months i want to say at least this year he is very acute and alert to cats especially now that there's like an extra cat in our road he whenever he goes out he will look for the cat we have to be really careful now keeping the door shut if we're putting bins out and things like that because if he sees one he will run across the road and obviously we don't want that in case a car's coming so um he i don't think he would ever do anything because i don't think he would get close enough or a cat won't let let him um but he just like whines and like tries to st like stretch and like pull on his harness to go and get to it so um and again he loves his walks um you know when we first get him i think he was only used to being walked for a toilet so now he's been on some beautiful walks i mean he's really gotten me out and about which i love and getting to know the neighborhood i'm um, going to to like by the sea and the river and in the forest and the beach just all these lovely places that we are able to take him and you know we went to the isle of Wight with him so that was lovely and just some people would see it as being you know restrictive but i think you've just got to embrace and go to places where you can take dogs and things like that um and one thing as much as he loves his walks he'll get excited he'll spin in a circle as soon as you go near him with his harness he will back off he will run under the table and try and get away it's really funny um it's like i want to go back to bed um but as going along with sort of travel and things like that he's super good in the car he will just go to sleep he's really good on long journeys um he has got better at being left on his own 
and that's really only in the last couple of weeks we have tried everything and of course I was off um I've been off work um for a few months you know most part of this year I was off of work um and Darren has been off work whether it be due to Covid or his surgery so we've been home a lot for him um and you know we in the last couple of weeks have got him on some medication and been using like an anti-anxiety diffuser and that's really helped him I play the radio I do give him a Kong or some treats um he will eat the treats but as soon as he knows we've gone he was sort of howling today was like the first day that I left him and he was just like pretty calm and chilled and just went to sleep and didn't really cry at all so fingers crossed we have cracked it and yeah the next thing I've got is nicknames. Obviously, he has been given tons of different nicknames over the year. Mainly call him Sooty um, because we say he looks like he's been up a chimney, like he's got soot all over him because he's this grey colour. He's a miniature poodle um, and he's the blue colour, so he's like that. He's not light, light grey. He's like that medium to dark grey. So he, some photos he looks grey and some photos he looks black. Um, sometimes we call him Patsy. I don't know how that came about. I think it's because, like, he had, like, quite a fluffy hairdo. I don't know. Um, savage, especially when he's licking Darren or he's trying to get some food off us. We call him a savage. Um, and sometimes he is Robbie Savage and sometimes he is Lily Savage, depending on the mood. Um, puppy, soot, baby, all those things. He is totally, you know, our first little baby. Um, and we definitely treat him. He's so you know well looked after and he has so many toys and yeah he he's very spoiled yeah so he's not overly keen on the water if we go to the river or the beach he won't really be that fussed about putting his paws in he will walk around puddles and that sort of thing but he doesn't mind being bathed he's really good at being in the bath uh, he doesn't try and get out he turns when you ask him to and he's gotten a lot better at letting me like get sleepy dust out of his eyes and I trained him sort of when we first got him to help with that the only thing he doesn't still let me do is like pluck the bits of hair out of his ears he'll let anyone else he'll let the groomer the groomer says he falls asleep when he's there but um yeah that's the only thing he won't really let me do um another quite funny thing is um the only time he sort of growled at the other family dogs is like when they try and jump up on a sofa so when my mother-in-law's dog jet tried to jump up he sort of growled at him and my mum's dog oscar the westie when he sort of tries to like rear up to jump on the sofa he will also fly off the couch and like go even though he's on the other one he'll fly over to him and and like try to growl at him he's nipped his ear once and because oscar is so like old and dementia and he, his hearing's gone, didn't even notice, so, yeah, um, what else, he still spins a lot, that was a whole thing to do, I think, with something in his brain, but he now spins, you know, when he's excited and happy, as opposed to when he's anxious, um, he reacts really well to the doorbell, he's very alert and a good guard dog like that, not so good when it comes to the postman, he will take all the post as it comes in and try and chew it up, um i'm running out of time he loves to greet you with a toy and if he can't find a toy he usually grabs darren's size 13 shoes which is pretty funny um he also likes to nip at your clothing as well if he's really really excited um and then i think the last one is he is super determined if he knows a if he knows a ball is under the couch he will want that ball and non-stop whining until he gets that ball um, but now you can sort of trick him and get another ball and put it under and just get out so you don't have to reach right to the back um, but yeah I think that's all that I've got to update you on I will insert some clips and things and photos over the past year he's just been an absolute joy he's been a lifesaver for me totally got me through the dark months and the pandemic so I think that's all that I've got to say for today so thank you for watching and we are going to go out and enjoy the sun together yeah you can say bye say bye Billy how's train going? oh no <laughs> Show me your new way of carrying a bow. What have we got?
Where's your ball gone? Where's your ball gone? Here, stick another one to it. Blue. You're cute. Is your little tail wagon? Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Is he coming? Is he coming? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Is he at the window? Where is he? Is he coming? Oh, where is he? Where is he? Did I say cat? Mm-hmm.